Hello everyone, Carson here, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you what to look for in a WordPress hosting package. When you are looking into WordPress hosting, there are different things which you need to look for and need to keep in mind when you are buying a plan, and in this video, I am going to tell you what those things are. So let's get into it, but before we do, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you are notified. And also, just a heads up that I have my top three WordPress hosting providers linked in the description of this video so you can check them out if you want to receive special discounts or pick up a WordPress hosting plan for yourself and just get past all this stuff that you need to look out for because I've already done it for you. But now let's get into the video. The first thing you need to be looking for is a WordPress optimized server because the key difference between WordPress hosting and normal shared hosting is the server. The server should be optimized for a WordPress website to make your WordPress website run better and perform at a higher level than if it was running on shared hosting. And if the host doesn't do that, it's not a good WordPress hosting plan. Next up, you always want to look for advanced security features because WordPress websites are a favorite of hackers. There are some potential security breaches for your WordPress website, and if your WordPress hosting doesn't come with top of the line security, it's probably not good WordPress hosting. Next up, you always want to look for the ease of use as well. You want a very user-friendly, intuitive control panel that's available on all devices and very user-friendly. Places like Hosting or Bluehost, places like that, they actually do provide their own custom control panels, which is really nice for you and which is a really big benefit to any users of their platforms. You should be able to carry out a bunch of different tasks from the control panel and at the easiest level possible so you don't really have a gigantic learning curve when you're trying to set up a hosting website. So you always need to look for that in a provider. Make sure they're providing very top of the line, easy to use features for your website. Finally, you always want good customer support because it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna run into a few issues here and there with your website, and if you can't get in contact with the support or if the support is just subpar, that is not going to be good for your website or for the plan you've bought. So if you're looking for WordPress hosting, you want 24 seven technical support that you can actually rely on when you run into issues on your website. That is basically gonna do it for this video though. I I just wanted to give you a short kind of explanation of what you need to look for in a WordPress hosting package. So keep those things in mind when you are checking them out or just head down to my links in the description where I have my recommendations and picks already available for you at a special discount. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.